here is our dingo again and we are sitting at 22 hours and we had another issue with the thing if you see these lines this one right here was leaking hydraulic fluid and it was leaking pretty good and it made quite the mess and it got over all over everything and i found out that the fitting for the hydraulic fluid was it's not something you can get but it leaked quite a bit um i went to a couple of different places and um, the first place just couldn't get it, and then the first place could get it, but it was thirty dollars, and they had to ship it. It was, it's British on the inside, so the part that screws in here, you see that, is British. Uh, maybe I can adjust my camera. Yeah, there we go. So the part that screws into the hydraulic mechanism. Is British and then the part that goes down is metric. So it's two different sizes. So if that thing breaks, the leaks, how fun. So what we ended up doing was we took and they had like a washer with an O-ring. So the ones that are on it like pinch it. And they had um ones that the o-ring sat inside so it wasn't really pushing and then the washer that was on it would push it against it and that seemed to make it not leak uh if you are trying to buy one of these things to make money uh don't if you're trying to buy one for yourself they're great machines like there's a lot of dirt and it picks it up very easily uh they are definitely off balanced definitely will pick up that's this bucket i did the math is three cubic feet and that has to be full full maybe four and a half cubic feet but if you don't have the extra weight on the back which right now that's all kind of weight it struggles